In today's video we shall discuss about immunohematology and blood grouping system. But before that do subscribe to my channel and let me know your opinions and suggestions in the comment box. Immunohematology Immunohematology is a branch of hematology and transfusion medicine which studies antigen-antibody reactions and analogous phenomena as they relate to the pathogenesis and clinical manifestations of blood disorders. The specialist immunohematology and transfusion physician provides expert opinion for difficult transfusions, massive transfusions, incompatibility workup, therapeutic plasmapheresis, cellular therapy, irradiated blood therapy, leukoreduced and washed blood products, stem cell procedures, platelet-rich plasma therapies, HLA, and cord blood banking. Other research avenues are in the field of stem cell researches, regenerative medicine, and cellular therapy. Blood typing. A blood type, also known as a blood group, is a classification of blood, based on the presence and absence of antibodies and inherited antigenic substances on the surface of red blood cells. These antigens may be proteins, carbohydrates, glycoproteins, or glycolipids, depending on the blood group system. Some of these antigens are also present on the surface of other types of cells of various tissues. Several of these red blood cell surface antigens can stem from one allele, or an alternative version of a gene, and collectively form a blood group system. The two most important blood group systems are ABO and RH, they determine someone's blood type, AB, AB, and O, with positive, negative or null denoting RHD status, for suitability in blood transfusion. The diagram here represents the red blood cell type, the antibodies in plasma, and the antigens in red blood cells. As you can see there are four groups A, B, A, B, and O. The antibodies corresponding to the blood type are anti-B for A, anti-A for B, anti-A and anti-B for O. However there is no antibodies available for group AB. The antigens in the red blood cells are A antigen for group A, B antigen for group B. A and B antigens for AB group respectively. There is no antigen present for group O. So group O can donate red blood cells to anybody. It's the universal donor. ABO blood group system. The ABO blood group system involves two antigens and two antibodies found in human blood. The two antigens are antigen A and antigen B. The two antibodies are antibody A and antibody B. The antigens are present on the red blood cells and the antibodies in the serum. Regarding the antigen property of the blood, all human beings can be classified into four groups, those with antigen A, group A, those with antigen B, group B, those with both antigen A and B, group AB, and those with neither antigen, group O. The antibodies present together with the antigens are found as antigen A with antibody B, antigen B with antibody A, antigen AB has no antibodies, and antigen nil, Group O, with antibody A and B. RH blood group system. The RH system is the second most significant blood group system in human blood transfusion with currently 50 antigens. The most significant RH antigen is the D antigen, because it is most likely to provoke an immune system response of the five main RH antigens. It is common for D negative individuals not to have any anti DIgg or IgM antibodies because anti-D antibodies are not usually produced by sensitization against environmental substances. However, D-negative individuals can produce IgG anti-D antibodies following a sensitizing event possibly a fetomaternal transfusion of blood from a fetus in pregnancy or occasionally a blood transfusion with D-positive RBC. RH disease can develop in these cases. Erythroblastosis fatalis Erythroblastosis fatalis, also called hemolytic disease of the newborn, type of anemia in which the red blood cells of a fetus are destroyed in a maternal immune reaction resulting from a blood group incompatibility between the fetus and its mother. This incompatibility arises when the fetus inherits a certain blood factor from the father that is absent in the mother. Symptoms of erythroblastosis fetalis range from mild to severe. Death of the fetus or newborn sometimes results. The RH incompatibility. 
Consider an Rh positive father and an Rh negative mother carrying her first Rh positive fetus. Rh antigens from the developing fetus can enter the mother's blood during delivery. In response to the fetal Rh antigens, the mother will produce anti Rh antibodies. If the women become pregnant with another Rh positive fetus, her anti Rh antibodies will cross the placenta and damage fetal red blood cells. Rh negative blood types are much less common in Asian populations than they are in European populations. The presence or absence of the Rh D antigen is signified by the plus or minus sign, so that, for example, the A negative group is ABO type A and does not have the Rh D antigen. Other blood group systems 28 blood group systems have been identified by the International Society for Blood Transfusion in addition to the common ABO and Rh systems. Thus, in addition to the ABO antigens and RH antigens, many other antigens are expressed on the RBC surface membrane. For example, an individual can be AB, D positive, M and N positive, MNS system, K positive, KEL system, LEA or LEB negative, Lewis system, and so on, being positive or negative for each blood group system antigen. Many of the blood group systems were named after the patients in whom the corresponding antibodies were initially encountered. Blood transfusion Transfusion medicine is a specialized branch of hematology that is concerned with the study of blood groups, along with the work of a blood bank to provide a transfusion service for blood and other blood products. Much of the routine work of a blood bank involves testing blood from both donors and recipients to ensure that every individual recipient is given blood that is compatible and is as safe as possible. Complications in blood transfusions Allergic reactions Some people have allergic reactions to blood received during a transfusion, even when given the right blood type. In these cases symptoms include highs and itching. Like most allergic reactions, this can be treated with antihistamines. However, a doctor should be consulted if the reaction becomes serious. Fever Developing a fever after a transfusion is not serious. A fever is your body's response to the white blood cells in the transfused blood. However, it can be a sign of a serious reaction if the patient is also experiencing nausea or chest pain. Patients should consult their doctors if other symptoms or side effects are present. Acute Immune Hemolytic Reaction An acute immune hemolytic reaction is a very serious, but rare, reaction caused by a patient's body attacking the transfused red blood cells. The attack triggers a release of a substance that damages the kidneys. This is often the case when the donor blood is not a proper match with the patient's blood type. Symptoms include nausea, fever, chills, chest and lower back pain, and dark urine. Bloodborne infections. All donated blood is screened and tested for potential viruses, bacteria, and parasites. However, occasionally these agents can still infect a patient after a transfusion. The risk of catching a virus or any other bloodborne infection from a blood transfusion is very low. HIV. All donated blood is thoroughly tested for HIV. There is a 1 in 2 million chance that donated blood will not only carry HIV but also infect a transfusion recipient. Hepatitis B and C The odds of catching hepatitis B from donated blood is about 1 in 300,000. The risk with hepatitis C is 1 in 1.5 million. West Nile Virus the risk of catching West Nile virus from a blood transfusion is approximately 1 in 350,000. Now before concluding let me tell you the significance of blood donation. The reason to donate is simple. It helps save lives. In fact, every two seconds of every day, someone needs blood. Since blood cannot be manufactured outside the body and has a limited shelf life, the supply must constantly be replenished by generous blood donors. A decision to donate your blood can save a life, or even several if your blood is separated into its components, red cells, platelets, and plasma, which can be used individually for patients with specific conditions. So donate blood and save lives.